this is the area that I am thinking of starting next. Get the bottom of this. This is kind of a big, big project. I got a few little things here. I think I'm just going to be drilling and injecting epoxy into these areas. They're, it's just, I can just feel it's uh, loose. All right, this is what I decided to attack. Um, use this little mallet. Find the soft spots and the hollow spots. Used a little portable. Cut the main part, and then my uh, oscillating tool to cut the rest. So I got the seam out. Now I'm just trying to get it up, and that's a bit of a bitch. So we'll see what it looks like. All right, got it up, and it is beautiful. Just what I expected, and I found elsewhere. Um, Oh, it's actually, look at that. This has been on the hard for two years. Actually, longer than that. But out of the out of the elements for a couple of years, that's still wet. So I know there's more up under here, but I wanted to leave something to tie by fiberglass into. So I gotta s just scrape that out all the way along the edges here. Looks like I did pretty good for getting the the edge of the decent stuff. All right, two hours of sanding and scraping and we've got clean other side here and top side here dug out as much as I could get at up here I think what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna smush thickened epoxy up as far as I can get all around good afternoon it is Sunday July 26 2020 happy birthday mom 84 so this is the next morning from when I was working on the uh, I was working on the uh, floor of the cockpit, and my battery ran out before I could show you this last night. Got that laid out, so that's uh, I mean I gotta sand still both the top of the bottom and the bottom of the top before I epoxy that down thickened epoxy um, and then once that's back down I have to uh, grind down so I can put it put some fiberglass tape around to uh, tie the tie the fiberglass back together again I think I'm gonna wait on working on that I'm going to cover my hole so I don't lose my camera down there or something um, in the meantime I'm gonna get the rest of this stuff ready to start fiberglass well, areas along here as well that I said I was going to do some work to and these are all just they were uh, just loose uh, loose top versus so I drilled down I got a couple different uh, I got some stoppers on some drill bits to drill down to the top of the bottom layer of fiberglass uh, this is for the top sides, and this is actually for the side deck because there's only a this is it's a thinner balsa core on the side decking, but the top, including here, seems to be the thicker part. So I did that for a couple of these areas, a couple more over here. Um, that just seems to be loose, and the, the the wood inside there. I mean, I can see. I don't know if you can see, but I can see, and from the filings that came out, it was not wet or rotted. So uh, that seems to be in good shape for just, I'll be injecting unthickened epoxy in there and just try to tie everything down. I try to get these four off. This is the rudder post. So I can't, that's not going anywhere. But hopefully I can get these off and this slides up just that much and I have enough room to work. Otherwise I'm gonna have to try to get this head off. Head off of that post and then pull that off. But I'm gonna fart around with that right now. See, because this is all. Get my. Uh, it's all loose around there. All right, got this off. Um, well, first I pulled. This guy came off fairly easily. 
Uh, there's a key in there that I almost dropped down the hole, but uh, found got that. Then this guy came off, uh, and it is screwed on just with these four screws right into the fiberglass. So I'm not sure how to do that when I replace this. I'll be, uh, I'll be cutting out. I tapped around. This is fairly accurate. I'm going to cut out just inside around this. So I'll be able to hopefully be able to reuse this top skin again. Um, because it's clearly, uh, I mean, it's bad. I mean, it's, this is, this is going way up, way up inside here. It's all rotted. So I got to pull that off. But what I haven't done is create something where I'm screwing this into epoxy that I put in. I don't know if I just have to pre-drill almost to that size and this will thread it itself or if I have to, it's like a tap and die kind of thing. I got to look into that. But anyway, next step is try to pull that up. Okay, cut it, broke it free. And as expected, ugly. So got this guy cleaned up. Probably should have cut this about to here, but it's okay. I can I scraped out to where it got tight again. Uh, down here it was a little wet on the edge here, a little wet on the edge here. I drilled some holes uh, to see how far that extended that wet, because I can again dig at the sides. All of these came up with dry, decent wood, uh, so I can get at the edge of that. Get at the edge of that. This already. I had to get at because that's as close as I want to get to the side so I can tie in. This side was good. Then I came over to this section, opened her up. Um, again, it's wet in there, but I get I can dig out as much as I need to. Uh, this was the section from the first part. Drilled the hole there that is wet. Uh, so I'm going to dig out as much as I can. I drilled a couple holes here, and these are dry. So it's just this little swath here. This was this was dry along here, um, so I, it's just a little area. So I'm just going to dig uh, and just push epoxy into it. Got that measured up. We've got this guy measured up. I'm not going to worry about that. I'll just fill it in with thickened epoxy, and then just in case. I drew I drilled a few more holes around just to make sure that it really was and you can see I don't know if you can see that or not but flaky dry wood coming up so I do think I got the bulk of it and it'll be sealed up and I think when I'm done I uh, I may just put a couple layers of fiberglass over the whole floor I just got to make sure I maintain the drainage to the corner drains there okay a bit of tidying up a lot of sanding um, you know I got took the actual sander to the bottom of that had to hand slap and sand the top of the bottom layer there I uh, um, ground on the top of the also a little bit oh I still got to take a little bit off here because this, this rises up this is actually solid fiberglass all around here so that's nice but I gotta do that but I you know sanded the bottom or the top side of the bottom skin so I am ready to okay, the process goes first process would be wiping all this down with acetone putting some unthinking epoxy on the top of the bottom skin start squeezing in I mean this is all still competent here but there's areas where I gotta squeeze in some thickened epoxy uh, fill in gaps up under here uh, and then put down a layer of un or thickened epoxy and then, uh, then we put down the balsa smoosh that in there good cover it with more unthickened or more thickened epoxy Put this guy down, fill all the seams, put some weight on it, you know, a piece of plastic down and some weights, and then I'll have to come back, grind the bevel, 
all the way around this put down some fiberglass tape tie them in together again get one competent piece of fiberglass again good morning it is saturday august 1st 2020 i am going to epoxy in the new coring put the top skin back down on top on the cabin here on the uh, cockpit sole and i'm going to move along put some unthickened epoxy into these areas here just gotta I take a vacuum and a little file or something to clean these holes out as best I can and then just squeegee some uh, unthickened epoxy down in some more here ah, those areas there all right here we are the next day and she is solid boy I mean all my weight here she doesn't move a move a bit so uh, two things I wanted to mention here um, because it's so solid I don't think I'm gonna put a layer down of glass over the entire thing I'm just gonna tie these areas in so we have one competent top layer of fiberglass secondly I didn't mention before is this boat actually came with a teak kind of a platform that lays down on this cockpit sole um, that I just I just I, I pulled it out obviously to do all this work and it's, it's in my basement and that's a that'll be a wintertime activity to clean that up put a new layer of uh, whatever on it I don't even know how I'm gonna do that yet but uh, so there is something to spread the load when people are walking on here uh, anyway so I'm still gonna get this as nice as I can I'll put down some uh, non-skid in case something ever happens to that uh, teak platform but uh, yeah I, we should be pretty good to, to just go with tying in this top layer and, and moving along so that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna grind uh, all these connections and hopefully it is it is windy today really windy so my tarp is just going like crazy so if we start getting some crazy gusts I'm just I'll probably cut this short but here we go well that was fun grinding down the edges beveled out ready for some fiberglass tape I got 15 ounce cloth or 15 ounce tape probably do two layers up I have this 15 ounce fiberglass cut that to size all these and I have my uh, epoxy set up I got a bunch of uh, these all have six pumps into them and then uh, sometimes I get toward the end and I don't need quite that much so there's a few in here with three but this is down the basement temperature and it is windy and there is uh, three layers of 15 ounce fiberglass 
this stuff, whatever that's called, tape. It's 15 ounce, I got three layers everywhere. Some corners and overlaps have four layers. Uh, some of that will be ground down when, the, when I fare though, I think. But uh, there we go. Just uh, sand and fare. Well, cure, then sand and fare. I'm done for the day. This is what she looks like with the fiberglass cured. And she is solid as a rock. There is no flex, nothing. Strong. So, we're good. So I gotta grind this smooth. Put the first layer of fairing compound on. Put my uh, block back so I don't lose things down the hole. And then next up is either that or the lazarette. And I'm thinking, thinking I may just restore the lazarette to the way it originally was for now and worry about converting it to a uh, outboard well at another time if that's the way I want to go but I'm, I want to get I want to I, I, it's looking like I can get this this top sides these top sides done at least with the first coat of fairing compound on this season and that way I don't have to really I don't have to worry about water getting in here um, over the winter and like that adios